In the realm of Hungarian politics, a new voice has taken center stage. Ibolya Chenge, a rising figure in pro-government media, has been appointed as the spokesperson for the Fidesz parliamentary group. This appointment marks a significant moment in Chenge's career, propelling her to the forefront of Fidesz's communication strategy. Chenge's appointment has been met with a mix of anticipation and scrutiny. Her supporters view her as a capable communicator who can effectively articulate Fidesz's message. Critics, however, express concerns about her close ties to Megafon, a pro-government media platform known for its partisan stance. As Chenge steps into this prominent role, her background and experience will be closely examined. Her ability to navigate the complexities of Hungarian politics and media will be crucial for Fidesz's communication efforts. The coming months will reveal how Chenge intends to shape her role and what impact she will have on the Hungarian political landscape. Ibolya Chenge's journey to becoming Fidesz's spokesperson is marked by a combination of media experience and political alignment. While details about her early career remain relatively scarce, her trajectory suggests a growing involvement in pro-government media circles. Chenge's association with Megafon, a platform known for its staunch support of Fidesz, has played a pivotal role in her rise to prominence. Her active participation in Megafon's initiatives, including public discussions and online campaigns, has solidified her position as a trusted voice within the pro-government media sphere. Chenge's media savvy is evident in her ability to effectively communicate complex political messages in a clear and concise manner. Her appearances on various platforms, from traditional news outlets to social media, demonstrate her versatility and understanding of different media landscapes. As Fidesz's spokesperson, Chenge's background in pro-government media will undoubtedly shape her approach to communication. Her ability to leverage her experience while navigating the expectations of her new role will be crucial for her success. To understand Ibolya Chenge's role as Fidesz's spokesperson, it is essential to grasp the significance of Megafon in Hungary's media landscape. Established in 2019, Megafon has rapidly emerged as a powerful force, shaping public discourse and amplifying the ruling party's narrative. Megafon operates as a network of pro-government influencers, journalists, and commentators who actively promote Fidesz's policies and ideology. Through a combination of online platforms, social media campaigns, and traditional media appearances, Megafon effectively disseminates Fidesz's message to a wide audience. One of Megafon's key strategies is the simplification and repetition of key talking points. By consistently reinforcing Fidesz's stance on issues such as migration, national identity, and European Union policies, Megafon aims to shape public opinion and counter opposing viewpoints. Megafon's influence extends beyond its own platforms. Its narratives and talking points are often echoed by other pro-government media outlets, creating an echo chamber effect that reinforces Fidesz's dominance in the media landscape. As Fidesz's spokesperson, Ibolya Chenge assumes a critical role in shaping the party's public image and communicating its message to both domestic and international audiences. Her responsibilities encompass a wide range of tasks, from delivering press briefings to engaging with journalists on various platforms. Chenge's appointment comes at a time when Fidesz faces increasing scrutiny from both within Hungary and the European Union. Critics accuse the party of eroding democratic norms, curtailing media freedom, and consolidating power. In this context, Chenge's ability to effectively articulate Fidesz's stance and counter these criticisms will be paramount. One of Chenge's primary challenges will be navigating Hungary's polarized media landscape. With a significant portion of the media under the influence or control of Fidesz-aligned figures, Chenge will need to strike a balance between reaching out to independent and critical voices while ensuring the party's message resonates with its base. Furthermore, Chenge's role extends beyond traditional media. In today's digital age, social media platforms play a crucial role in shaping public opinion. Chenge's ability to leverage these platforms to engage with a wider audience, particularly younger generations, will be essential for Fidesz's communication strategy. Section 5. The Megafon Effect, Reshaping Hungary's Information Ecosystem Megafon's emergence and rapid rise have had a profound impact on Hungary's information ecosystem, raising concerns about media pluralism and the diversity of voices in public discourse. 
The platform's success in amplifying Fidesz's message can be attributed to a combination of factors, including its strategic use of social media, its network of influential figures, and its access to significant financial resources. One of Megafon's key strategies has been its effective use of social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. By creating engaging content, targeting specific demographics, and utilizing algorithms to maximize reach, Megafon has been able to disseminate Fidesz's message to a wider audience, often bypassing traditional media gatekeepers. Moreover, Megafon benefits from a network of influential figures, including politicians, journalists, and commentators who actively promote its content and amplify its message. These individuals often hold positions of authority within pro-government media outlets or have a significant following on social media, allowing them to reach a large and receptive audience. The financial resources available to Megafon have also played a significant role in its rapid expansion and influence. While the platform's exact funding sources remain opaque, it is widely believed to receive substantial support from pro-government businesses and individuals, giving it a significant financial advantage over independent media outlets. Section 6. Concerns and Criticisms. Megafon's Funding and Potential Bias. Despite its growing influence, Megafon has faced criticism from various quarters, primarily concerning its opaque funding structure and its perceived lack of journalistic independence. Critics argue that the platform's close ties to Fides and its reliance on pro-government funding raise concerns about its objectivity and its potential to spread biased information. One of the main criticisms leveled against Megafon is its lack of transparency regarding its funding sources. Unlike traditional media outlets, which are often required to disclose their ownership and funding sources, Megafon operates with a high degree of opacity, making it difficult to determine who is bankrolling its operations and what their motives might be. This lack of transparency has led to accusations that Megafon is being used as a tool for political propaganda, with pro-government businesses and individuals allegedly funneling money to the platform to promote Fidesz's agenda and silence critical voices. The absence of clear guidelines or regulations governing Megafon's operations further exacerbates these concerns. Furthermore, critics argue that Megafon's close ties to Fides and its reliance on pro-government funding create a conflict of interest that undermines its ability to provide objective and impartial news coverage. They point to instances where Megafon has been accused of spreading misinformation, amplifying pro-government narratives, and attacking critics of the ruling party. Ebolia Chenge, a symbol of Fidesz's media strategy. Chenge's appointment as Fidesz's spokesperson reflects the party's focus on controlling the narrative and shaping public opinion. Her background in pro-government media and association with Megafon suggests she is prepared for this role. This comes as Fidesz faces criticism over democratic norms and media crackdowns. Chenge's role is significant in defending the party's record and countering negative narratives. Her experience with Megafon and social media will be valuable. Chenge's skills in crafting narratives and targeting demographics are crucial for Fidesz. However, her ties to pro-government media raise questions about her objectivity. Some view her as a partisan figure unlikely to engage in transparent communication. Section 8. The Future of Fidesz's Communication – Chenge's Potential Impact As Ibolia Chenge settles into her role as Fidesz's spokesperson, her leadership will shape the party's communication strategy. Factors influencing her approach include Hungary's political landscape, the party's relationship with the European Union, and scrutiny from international observers. Chenge's challenge will be navigating Hungary's polarized media environment. With much of the media under Fidesz's influence, she must balance reaching out to independent voices while resonating with the party's base. Communicating Fidesz's position internationally will be crucial. As Fidesz faces criticism from the EU, Chenge must articulate the party's stance on judicial independence, media freedom, and minority rights. Her success depends on adapting to the media landscape and engaging diverse perspectives. Whether she can achieve these goals while defending Fidesz's policies remains to be seen. A new chapter in Hungarian political communication. Ibolya Chenge's appointment as Fidesz's spokesperson marks a significant moment, reflecting the party's evolving media strategy. Her actions will be closely watched by both supporters and critics, eager to see how she will shape the party's message. 
Schenge's background in pro-government media suggests she is well-equipped to implement Fidesz's communication strategy. Her understanding of social media and experience in countering critical voices will be valuable assets. However, her close ties to Fidesz raise concerns about her ability to provide objective information. Her success will depend on balancing defending Fidesz's policies and engaging in transparent communication. The coming months will reveal how Chenge shapes her role and impacts Fidesz's communication strategy.